All right. Are we live? Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. What's going on, guys and girls? This is your boy D757 Dark Man for D757 Gaming. Yes, I have a new logo. Thank you, Brent Rawson, for surprising me with the D757 DBZ logo. Um, he knows I'm a DBZ fan, and he was like, Hey, man, what would you do? Would you like if I gave you a logo? I said, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, he really surprised me with that. He really surprised me. So, shout out to Brent Rawson, the developer of Trials Cascadia. You know, one of the reasons why I don't charge uh, to play RPG Maker games is because, you know, when people see you do good stuff for the community... They will turn around and bless you. They will bless your socks off. So I was not even expecting Brent Rawson to commission somebody to do that for me. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why I love <laughs> Harlequin. <laughs> These seven never say no to freestyle. Never, ever, man. They, I've been taught a long time ago. When somebody want to bless you, let them do it let them do it like you never know like if it's on somebody's heart let them do it so yeah and i don't feel bad either because they want to do it all right so this is hitra by uh the developer name is i know them by a different name on discord but uh i want to say hey i forgot the freaking developer's name <laughs> oh man i forgot the developer okay megobari megobari is the developer name but they go by uh, uh a different name on discord all right so nita update about your game i'm almost at the part where the demo in so when i reach that part i will stream the rest of it so just giving you a heads up on that and um yeah uh, it's good to see everybody definitely appreciate you guys coming out and join your boy d7 but we're going to jump into the tale of hitra by um see once again uh mego bari so options let's check this out and I got this from beta testers. Haven't been on beta testers in a while. So I definitely wanted to go back and show some love to that community. Touch UI off. So without further. Without stalling even further. We're going to start this game. But Hitra. Not even sure what it means. Uh, What is this? A cat? A tiger? An animal. I know it got whiskers. I know it got pointy ears. So I'm going to say a cat. I'm going to say a cat. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. All right. Seems like we got some custom sprites going on here. They laying in a pile of flowers. Uh, Prin Valley. Where am I? What is this place? Use arrow keys to move. I'm playing with a controller. Come on, guys. When are we going to get it together? When are we going to get it together? I know RPG Maker is a computer software. But at the same time, everybody don't play with a keyboard. So I'm just throwing that out there for the hundredth time, y'all. Yo, what's up, Bim Lounge? Joe Eagle, Nita Riggies in the house, Bird Bunches. The water come out from thin air and falls into abyss. So magical. But how is that even possible? This place is truly strange. Same controller I got. This isn't the best controller, but it, it's the one that seems to work perfectly with the windows, so I use it. It's a fox. Maybe it wants me to follow it. 
or maybe it's a trap. You see how the dialogue is read? Like maybe, maybe this, maybe that. So right now, I don't know why we're here. It just appeared that we 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 appear here. But um, the path leads forward. But something seems to be blocking the way. Yo, what's up, Lom? <laughs> Lom, hey, whenever Lom enter the chat, you know it's going to be interesting. Uh, he's saying stuff really good right now. He said the character sprite is good. But the map, never mind. Never mind. I take it back. The map, the map is bad. All right. <laughs> this dude has no chill. A shovel. I don't think it would be much of use now. A much use now. A door to something that appears to be a shed. It's locked. Just a closed box. Opening it doesn't seem possible. There are some garden shears sitting on a barrel. They might be useful. Better to keep them. You found some garden shears. You can use items by opening your inventory, pressing the X key, or selecting them with Z, enter space or space. But some items are meant to be used only in certain area spots. All right, so one thing, one thing that I do suggest, I mean, you don't have to change them, but uh, sometimes the default font, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the default font. But, you know, giving your game a, a, a special font can add some class to it. You know, given the fact the person may play hundreds and hundreds of RPG Maker games. And sometimes they get tired of the seeing the same old font. Just like your boy. Alright, there's a passage but it's completely blocked by the vines. Maybe I could remove them with the shears I just found. Alright, so we got to go to items, equip, the garden shears. Oh, we got to use it on the, on, the, uh, on the area. But I do like the custom menu. I do like it. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Yo, what's up, one man indie? The path is now impassable, but the shears didn't survive it. Alright, so I'm going to, I'm going to guess... That this game may be like uh, a puzzle type game. Uh, we don't have no HP bar, no uh, no status menus or anything like that. So I'm going to say maybe we don't have any battles. Where, where are you taking me, buddy? So when we do the D7 score, the uh, the puzzles is going to be in lieu of the battles. If there aren't any battles. There you are. Is this where you wanted to take me? Okay. It's just disappeared. I guess it's not a regular fox. Okay. There is someone standing there. Wait a moment. What kind of bushes kale the shears? <laughs> no, it can't be. But what if it's really him? Really who? Alright, so I just want to make sure. Uh, I could double check. Alright, so. Dalit, is that really you? I'm so happy I found you. I was so worried when you went missing. Alright. Dalit. What is going on? You shouldn't have come here. What? Why are you saying this? It's just not the right place for you to be. Okay, so we got choices. I don't know. I don't even know this place. Stop the BS. Let's go to the second one. Stop that BS and just explain what you're talking about. Maybe on a different occasion. If we ever get to see each other again. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. And I. I miss. 
I miss you a lot. I don't know what I would do if I won't see you again. First, you left for adventure. Then you sent me a letter that everything's okay. And later, you stopped giving any signs of life. Alright? Please understand that I was just worried that something happened. That's why I promised myself that I find you no matter what. Well, let's say that I'm not everything turned out to be as okay as I firstly thought. What do you mean? Then you need my help even more. Okay. I'm still drawing a blank. So maybe his friend is a soldier. You know, or just got tired of staying in town and just went on an adventure and just stopped communicating. So us, you know, concerned about our friend, never seen him in a while. You know, we, we want to know what happened or why have you stopped communicating? Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't understand. It would be better for you not to know. Horrible things happen to me. That's awful. But please come home with me. You explain everything to me later. It's too late already. I can no longer be helped. What do you mean? Well, is it too late? You'll see. I was too trusting towards people. I don't know. Towards people who deserve no trust. Which was a terrible mistake. I fell into a trap that I can't possibly leave. If you go looking for me, the same thing will most likely happen to you. I won't allow that. I'd rather rot alone than condemn you the same fate. So is he having like an outer body experience? This what this what it may seem to be like an outer body experience. But I get the F away from here. Oh boy, why are you always so stubborn? Please understand, it's too dangerous for you even now. I don't even know how I got here in the first place. You know? But I, I think he's having an out-of-body experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the spirits are talking. I am too dangerous for you. Just do what I say. Just this once. For your own sake. No, there's no option. I leave you. Okay, I'll leave. I'm... I'll... I believe the 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 English language isn't the developer's first language. So I think you're trying to say, no, there isn't an option. I won't leave you. No, there is not this is not an option. I won't leave you. So we're not gonna wanna we're not gonna leave our friend. You know what I'm saying? We're we're friends to the end until the day we die. <laughs> People only last for seasons. That is true. That is true. No, I'm not going anywhere. Not without you. Okay, he got tears in his eyes now. You can shout. You can cry. But you can't make me leave you alone. I'd rather die than betray you. You stupid F. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> like, like, I mean... I don't know if it's me, but it seemed like a lot of people who is not native to the English language always use this cuss word. Always use this cuss word. Your boy don't cuss, but it just seemed like this is a pattern. Like this is this is the curse word of choice for foreigners. Harlequin use it. Um <laughs> Harley can definitely use it, you know what I'm saying, in his games. I don't know why, but it seems like the F word is always the uh, the number one choice for cussing. And I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of this in this game. Let's go. Do you even know what you're doing? Do you know what's going to happen soon? I... Dalit looked as he was going through severe pain. Oh, snap. Dalit, 
What happened to you? Dalit? Stop approaching me. What do you want me to do? You're dead. Okay. So we were having a dream. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Fortuna? We were having a dream. Okay, okay. So it wasn't real. <laughs> I knew he was having an out of body experience, guys. See, look, look. I, some of these games are so predictable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm not lying, man. Some of these games are predictable, but. But I did think I did think that um, we were going to have this was a game where you got to make the correct choice. If not, it's automatically game over. Oh man, I that's why I thought at first. But it better not be that way. It better not be that way because that would not be a good thing. If I got to keep reloading the save over and over and over. Dialogue could use a second look, say RC Dunn. Yeah, um, English isn't the developer's first language. So, so I'm going to give them a pass on that. You can use it like every second word of a sentence and it still makes sense. Stubborn, more good. Yeah, yeah, you stubborn. Are you stubborn or whatnot? Or get out of here. I'm not going to tell you again. He's naked suddenly. Because he turned to like a demon or something. Whatever whatever it was. It's the first word they probably hear from an English speaker. Exactly. Like a lot of foreigners that I know definitely use that word. And I'm like, really dude? You don't, you don't got anything else to say? Was this just a dream? Or was this some sort of message for me? Like in any case, I should get going. I already slept for too long. Today is the day I promised myself to find Dalit. But, I, but after what I've just seen in my dream, I'm worried even more. What if it was sort of a warning for me? It may be as well as the last journey I ever go on. God, I'm so afraid. But I can't give up now. Dalit might be in danger. So, how long has Dalit been gone? And... If he's been gone a while, you know, it kind of ash, it kind of ash, um, you got to ask yourself, like, the way the dialogue is written, it's like they're lovers. <laughs> it's like they're lovers, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, like, it's like they're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? But he did say that's his best friend. So we're going to think that that's his best friend. Or maybe, you know, it could be more. I don't know. I'm not bothered by, I'm not bothered by cussing it either, Harlequin. You know, but sometimes, you know, a, a wise man told me there's better words to use. And other than cuss words, you know, especially you could get the same point across. You know, it's kind of a shortcut. They're like really to really uh get to to the point. You know what I'm saying? But if you're if you're got like a dialogue or like some type of novelty going on, because a game like this is going to have a lot of dialogue because we don't have no battles. It's going to see, you know. So you definitely want to work on different use of your vocabulary. But I can't give up just now. Dalit might be in danger. You know what I mean? I could be wrong though, but you know. It's like Dalit is by and he's on the straight swing now. <laughs> when, when come to game... When come the game, use a strong word. Game give the notification in beginning or in the description. Agreed. One, two, three.
Okay. I saved the game. I saved the game. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so that's the cat. All right. Dear Primvelli, I can't even contain my excitement. I finally made it to Balanta and have a strong feeling that I'm going to find a treasure soon. Also, I met a really friendly old lady whose name is Hitra. She agreed to give me food in bed as long as I'm here. Yours, Dalit. Okay, so Hitra is the name of the game, the tale of Hitra. So she is an old lady. So I thought Hitra was a cat. But we do have the same cat in the uh, on the title screen. I received it once as a gift when I was a kid. I kept many important memories in it, both the happy ones and not so many happy ones. But later, I put it back and forgot about it for years. And then, I was going to a new school. I decided to give it another chance. I divided the journal into two sections, the childhood one and the new one. I should have, should I have a look at it? Uh, yes. 17 day Muna XX59. Dear diary, today is the day I got from my I got you from my parents. I don't have many friends. Hopefully you'll be the one. Alright. Today Miss Savali came to our house. She's a teacher that my parents found for me. She teaches me maths, drawing, and some of the old language. She teaches me math. You don't need an S on math. Uh drawing and some old and some of the old language. Uh, my mother doesn't want me to go to public school. She claims my blood is too noble for it. I don't have... Yo, one man indie with the $3 super chat. Appreciate it, my guy. Always appreciate it. Never required on this channel. You know, definitely appreciate you, my guy. First day, ninth moon of SS59. I don't have many friends at my age. I feel so lonely. Read another entry. Today, I convinced my mother to go outside. We went to the park where the other kids from my village were playing. I tried to communicate with them, but to no avail. I was much more shy and withdrawn to them. They did not like this. Also, their parents might have recognized us, guessing by the look of their faces. Our family owns the entire village, and all of the residents work for us. That's probably why they don't interact with us. They perceive us as the exploiters. Read another entry. What is going on? Yo, what's up, Lux Trooper? What's going on, my guy? <laughs> I got some notifications going on. I'm trying to read. And I'm like, man, what's going on? I'm being blessed already. Yo, Miss Savali told me that I'm a very intelligent child. She think I can write and do maths. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't need no S on maths, once again. And underage. Or you could say arithmetic. You know, arithmetic. Arithmetic is an old school language, you know, an old word that they used back in the day, you know, to describe different types of math or the basic math, you know, whatnot. So, yeah, we don't need an S on math and understand the world around me better than most kids of my age. But honestly, I don't know what the other kids at my age are like. I'm not friends with any of them. My mother had been feeling really bad recently, so the doctor paid us a visit today. He diagnosed her with sickness, whom I can't name, even pronounce. He claims the illness is curable, but actually very expensive. We are all scared. My mother keeps getting worse. She barely talks, and she's not even able to walk anymore. The cost of treatment, on the other hand, keeps getting higher and higher. Dad is afraid we might have to sell, sell our court and land soon to move. Okay, what is court and land? So court, what is a house? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, the language is so medieval, or it could be a different translation. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. So, I'm definitely trying my freaking best. Okay, so, uh, move to a smaller house. There's nothing wrong downsizing. So, the day eventually came. We sold most of our wealth, keeping on the things that have sentimental value for us. So, so he must have important bloodline, you know, like royalty in his blood. You know, they're wealthy and stuff, but, you know, the expense of uh, keeping mom alive is just too much. You know, so, so uh, they had to sell, downsize, you know, to make sure mom is okay. 
We moved to a distant village called Perkushi to begin a new life. Our new house is smaller and much less luxurious, but at least people here are not hostile towards us. Now we have money again, so my mother can continue treatment. We will see what time will bring. This is the end. My mother passed away this night in her sleep. My last hope is gone. My heart and my life are shattered into a million pieces. I don't know what I'm going to do now. This is all like a bad dream. A few moons have passed since my mother's death. My father finally agreed to send me to a public school for the first time in my life. The school started in a few days. I'm so thrilled and scared at the same time, but I'm having high hopes. Here no one knows my family and no one cares about my origin, but the remorse after losing my mother is still haunting me. That was the end of the childhood. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's a that's a good bat story. New section. Today is going to be the first day at the male school of arts and crafts. I'm so scared. New place, of new people. I'm afraid I won't be able to find myself there. In elementary school, I was always the one standing behind. I hardly taught or played with anyone. I have to admit the school week was not bad. Unlike in my previous school, there were no bullies or mean people. Here, everyone respects each other. I also met a few interesting people. Tivoli, Megobari, Esfer, and Dalit. Hopefully we'll make friends. We'll make friends. I'm fed up with the loneliness. Okay, Megobari is the developer's name. Tivoli, Megobari, Isfer, Dalit, and I became a great pack of friends. We spend most of our free time together. Today we decided to play truant. Truant. We snit we we snuck out of school. And went to the bar to get some alcohol. The owner gave us some beer for free since Esper claims to be his nephew. Even though we were all underage, father was mad when I returned home completely wasted. And he forgave me and calmed down quickly. He's a good father. He can't be angry at me too long. Anyway, I'm sure he did the same thing when I was his age. That lead didn't come to school today. Love Trooper, thank you for the thousand bits, my guy. Oh my gosh. I was definitely not expecting that, but man, definitely appreciate it. Once again, guys, at this channel, never required, but always appreciate it. That lead didn't come to school today, so I decided to pay him a visit. When I saw him, I realized he's completely broken. He told me his father was found dead that day and almost for sure was murdered since his corpse was completely massacred. Okay. All right. All right. So his father was murdered. Authorities said there was nothing they can do about it since they gathered evidence was next to none. That leap became more insecure and less sociable since that happened. He stopped hanging out with the boys except me. That's because we built a strong emotional bond. Alright, so two strategies. Two tragedies. Mom and, and uh, best friend father was killed. He seemed fine for the most of the time at times. He, Alright guys, the only reason I'm reading this is because I want to get a bat story of the two. And none was really given in the beginning. So the journal is definitely... Uh, explaining uh, the bat story. That lead keeps getting better. Although he's still not the same man he used to be. At least we could sleep over together. Without the fear that he would end up crying on my shoulder. Today we went to swim in the lake. I hardly remember seeing him so excited. Today, today that lead told me. That while browsing his father things. He accounted old letters supposedly sent by his grandpa. To his wife. Which mentioned that he had all their valuables. And family mementos. All the traces suggest that all these things are kept in Belanta, a small island located not far away. The lead says it's duty to find the so-called treasure and wants to go to Bar Baramuda soon, but I have a bad feeling about it. Firstly, first of all, this all seems so freaking suspicious because why would his grandfather hide all of his family belongings and condemn all of his members to poverty? Also, the elite parents never told him that his grandparents were any adventurers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I also enjoy a pack of friends from time to time. I usually eat the entire pack at once when I do, says Harlequin. Ah, so it's a story tell game. No smash then. 
Wonder if the Broken Dream shares are in the inventory. Oh, wow. That's a good question, too. That's a good question. We're definitely going to see. All right. He also forced me to promise I wouldn't tell anyone about his plans. The elite left for Baramunda a few days ago and told me he would send me a letter by a pigeon as soon as he finds something interesting, as he promised he did. I received this letter yesterday. He claims to be good that he stays at some old woman house. Hitra is her name. He claims to be a very nice person and provides him with all the essential while he's looking for the treasure. But there's something really unsettling about this. Who is she? Why does she give him home to a person she barely knows? Also, her name is really unsettling. Hitra. I would never trust a person named like that. It's already 6 a.m. I used to, I need to go out to sleep and leave Atlanta as soon as the sun rises up. I'm sure Delete needs my help. All right, we're done. We're done. So the items, the shears are gone. And we cannot save any time. We cannot save any time. So that was a mouthful. Door leads to the bathroom. No need to go in there. Sunshines are reaching you through the window. All right, so the way the dialogue is written, it seems like we're in different times. Like it's, it's there's really no no uh time uh setting where you can figure out what time we're in because one uh truancy uh getting drunk being on the age. You know, I'm pretty sure back then they didn't have any laws where you could uh, be an age drinker or whatnot. Maybe they did. I don't know. But it definitely feels like, um, you know, we're, we're in different times, especially with the pigeons. You know what I mean? That's definitely when there's no mail carrier or maybe that's, that's a form of communication, you know, pigeons and stuff like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. So, okay, something failed. Shucks. This vase was important to my father. Hopefully no one will notice. I'm pretty sure he will. All right, so you got them running, like, treading carefully over the broken glass. I like that. Maybe have him clean up the mess as well. Father, prevailing, you're finally awake. I was worried something happened to you. I do like the map, though. The map looks really good, like in here. What are you doing at night that you slept until the afternoon? Were you doing everything at night but sleep again? Maybe. Doesn't matter. You wouldn't understand anyway. I see your problematic age still hasn't passed. I won't bother you. But bear in mind, I won't be able to help you if you don't share your dilemmas with me. I don't think that's necessary. Anyway, the lunch is almost done. Uh, actually, I'm not staying for lunch today. Why is that so? I have some other plan. I'm getting ready to leave soon. Let's say I'm doing something today outside of Perkushi. Does this have to do with the leader? Yes. I see you already know. Where is this going? You know what I'm trying to do. You can't stop me, but you can give me your blessing. So please don't get in my way when I'm fulfilling my duty. I gather some very important traces about what happens to Dalit. Most of which aren't known to the Guardians. So if there's something that should be rescuing Dalit, it's me. I'm saying this again. So I'm sure you understand. Don't stop me. Don't stay in my way. Don't try to convince me. I'm wrong. I never in my life seen you disconvinced about anything. And although in your place, I wouldn't do something as risky as this. I think I cannot stop you. You know better than you're doing that is what's best for you. You have my blessed. Alright, let me stop this here. Let me stop this here. Oh. The dialogue. Oh man, like there's no way. There's no way a child should talk to their parents like that. It seemed like the dad don't have no say so anyway because he was already having an attitude when when he first started talking to dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't worry about it. I'm leaving anyway. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Nah, man. I, I understand you're trying to get to the point of the story, but you know maybe give 
maybe show the father, you know, make sure the dad has at least some resistance to show that they really care about their son. You know what I mean? My only son. Thank you, dad. A lot. Your words mean the world to me. You know what I mean? Like, you see, you see, he had attitude. And next thing you know, next thing you know, uh, you mean the world to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should you should show that, that bond or that relationship between the father and the son, especially uh, a single father. You know, a single father is more, you know, because he got to play both a motherly role and a fatherly role at the same time. But before you leave, can I ask you to do something for me? I think I can spare some time. No problem. Oh, I did not expect such enthusiasm from you. So the thing is, you know the owner of our local bar. Aside from running this bar in the end, he occupies himself we're providing our village necessary supplies, both by buying goods and local producers or importing them from other places. I've been using his services for years, and I ordered a bit supply of potatoes from him recently, just as usual, but didn't see either potatoes or my money ever since. Can you see this man asking what is going on? I could do it myself, but I have other things to do now. Sure, that's absolutely the most important thing I should be doing right now. But once again, English isn't the developer's first language. So the translation could be, you know, throwing it off a bit. So, gonna give him a pass. Gonna give him a pass. Alright. I shall get those potatoes quick. Not to waste much time. The world is a bit placed. Whole ship to move faster. Bonk. I don't need a buck at this moment. Alright, so the house. I guess the house look okay. <laughs> ah, this is the elite house. Although, I know for sure he's not there. I should look for clues. Want to enter his house? Sure. Good morning, Miss Sava. Oh, welcome, Brennan Ali. Unfortunately, the elite is still not home, but you can talk to Brennan instead. He's upstairs in his room. Oh, Prevelli. Hey, the elite is still not back, but you probably already know it. Anyway, feel free to search his stuff. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to speed read this. We need to get to some action. <laughs> we need to get to some action. <laughs> this is the least bad. I can still smell his scent. You can still smell his scent. Hmm. You found a teddy bear under the duvet. I'll take this as my lucky talisman. The elite's favorite toy. His name means bear. Oh, Medved means bear in the unknown language. Brennan's bed is surprisingly tidy today. The boy who survived. Now nah, we're not gonna read no books. Let's get to some action. Yo, what's up, DJ King? Single single mom plus single dad equals our neighbors. Like real talk though, like. Like, he should be playing a role. He should be playing a stronger role than what he's playing. Hope this bear will bring me good luck. Alright, so we got the teddy bear. Hey, do you want to hear the joke? What did one ocean say to the other ocean? See you later. <laughs> Nothing. They just waved. What a beautiful day do we have. I could not agree more. Bye. Woof woof. The dog name is what? Doggy Oo. This is a frame of house. He's a humble man, yet provides our whole village with food. The door is closed. 
How you doing, DJ King? DJ Nana Zero J says gonna be lurking. No, no, don't lurk. Good to have you here, though. Good to have you. I hope you're feeling better. All right. So this the doors closed. Is abandoned. Prusky's in. All right. So. The map could definitely use some work. Like, I, I really don't like the black outer edge. You know, you could have, like, give, gave us some vegetation instead of just the black, the black, uh, surrounding. Ah, the lake. This is probably the best place to relax near Prakushi. I remember spending some good time here with my buddies. A beautiful red mushroom. Better not touch them. They're probably poisonous. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, sir. My husband went missing. Do you see my husband, ribbit? Like. A sad remnant of what used to be a treat. The interior map is good. When come to outside map, is so bland. Agreed. Medved in Slovenian is bare. Oh, wow. So maybe this is the uh, language of the developer. Slovenian. Okay, so we do have we do got different tile noise. Like when you walk on a certain tile, it make a certain different noise. Let's go. I can't leave yes. Okay, uh maybe the end. What your kid? What your kid doing here? Aren't you too young for buying alcohol? I'm not here to buy alcohol. I'm also 19. 19? I think you're lying to me, kiddo. But I guess it doesn't matter if you're not buying any alcohol. Anyway, if you're not getting drunk, what's the reason you being here? My father sent me here. He claims he had ordered some potatoes from you. Oh, I see your kid, our Asala son. Ah, oh, yes, I remember by the potatoes. And no, I'm not. I'm not and not going to be able to provide them in the near future. Let's say that a random situation occurred. What do you mean? An old business part of mine who was also supposed to sell me the potatoes for your father turned out to be a complete jerk. That's what I mean. He always sold me all of his products to me for a reasonable price. So I could later sell them to the villagers. For a higher price of course. I'm not any charity of some sort. Sounds like a good business plan. But after what this. Mm, did. I don't want to see or talk to him ever again. But it exactly happened. So just like some wise people say. Not your effing business. You don't think I would just talk to you. About my problem with a random kid do you? If you really want to get your potatoes, talk to that person instead. Some adults are behaving as if they were a bunch of kids. Let's talk to the farmer. I'm sure this is the one I saw on the way here. Alright. What y'all guys think about this game so far? Like, given the fact it is made with RPG Maker. It is made with RPG Maker, so it's definitely in the family. You know, all right. So we left the tavern, and next thing you know, blue, we're somewhere magical, huh? Where am I? Come to me, Prim Valley. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> oh man, but why? <laughs> Let's go. What? Who? What are you? How did you know my name? Are you by any chance the fox I saw in my dream today? I am the one and only indeed. It is me again indeed. <laughs> I'm freaking done. Man. Man. I mean, it's RPG Maker game, guy. It's RPG Maker. It does have an interesting plot. It does have 
uh it has that that uh one to play more because we want to know what's going on with the elite right and who this hitcher lady is too but this time i present myself to you in my own flesh bloop, 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 bloop. i sent you you were on your mission and I'm already aware of your struggles. You want to save a person very important to you. Yet you are unprepared for what is going to happen. Big heart does not compensate for no skill. That's why you need a spiritual guide that will help you complete your mission. By spiritual guide, you mean yourself? That's correct. How do you want to help me? Even though I can't give you answers to all problems you're about to encounter, I could always give you a helping hand and resolve them. I also have the power to turn back time in case something bad happens. Yet you always have to tell me first what exact moments you want to set as your save point before anything happens. Otherwise, I won't be able to do my trick. Okay, so his trick is basically allowing you to reload the game. <laughs> I can present to you my powers right now. Yeah, show it. That's it. That's it. His powers is... He'll save the game for you. And if you die, you can load the game. Let's freaking go. I don't feel like anything happened. That's the whole point. Who or what even are you? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even going to read this. I'm not even going to read this uh, This text from Simple Gaming. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to read Lominous text. The developer has very good taste when create interior map. Okay, I already read that one. I already read that one. It's interesting enough. I don't find it too bad. Definitely looks a bit beginner-ish, but I've seen worse, much worse. Yeah, we want to see if Dalit becomes a monster. Oh, man. Yeah, we would definitely want to see or how he became one. Hmm. But wait, the fox was untrustworthy in the dream. Yes, he was until until he mentioned uh, his friend, I guess. I don't find the plot interesting, to be honest. We are thrown into some kind of mystery case without having to had the chance to actually get invested in the characters. Look at this guy discriminating against me. Never, ever will discriminate against you, my friend. Never will. Never, ever, ever. The name is Azari. But who or what exactly I am shall remain a mystery for now. Alright, mystery, you need a Y instead of an I. Have to warn you that you're going to encounter many dangerous or even deadly adventures on your way. What What do you mean? you see for yourself soon. Now it's time for you to get going. Remember, that will be right behind you the entire time. Making sure you never be left alone. Alright, so you're back. So save me. Are, are you material? Are you material or are you some sort of spirit? Yes, my current form is material. But it doesn't mean I can't become a spirit at any point. Oh, snap. Why are you helping me? For no reason that you could understand. At least at this moment. The answer shall come to you in due time. Like, who don't want to know more of this plot? Of the fox? Like... Who is this fox? I want to know more. I want to know more, bro. Alright, so where's the farmer? He said go see the farmer, right? So where is he? Maybe down here? Nope. I don't know. Maybe up here? Gushy Lake? No quest log. It can't go down there. So maybe I gotta tell the dad the news and he's gonna send me to see this guy. Ah, maybe. Beetroot. Patch of maze. Beetroot. Did you talk to the barman already? Yes, I did. And know how to get your potatoes. Just give me a little while. Sounds promising. Know how to get your potatoes. 
Nah, I ain't gonna steal. I ain't gonna steal his money. Okay, it gotta be this house. No, no, this is Dalit's home. Hey, are you the farmer that used to be business partner with the barman? Yeah, the same farmer in the flesh. What brings you to me? Don't say he sent you here. Well, he did. Oh, boy. Oh, he would never have anything to do with him again. Back between you two despise each other so much. He only mentioned you being a jerk to him. Me being a jerk? Is that what he told you? Didn't he say anything the fact that he tended to kill me? No, I don't know anything about that. If you want, I could tell you the whole story. Oh, man. Do I want to know the whole story? I guess. Well, saying we were business partners like saying nothing. In fact, we were very good friends. I visited his family very often. So often we could basically say I live with them. But the thing about friendship with a huge age difference is that the daughter is the same age as me now. As you can imagine, so we were seeing each other at her house. We also finally realized we, we get along very well. One day we decided we need some privacy, so we went to a father ends and hid in one of the free rooms. But well, obviously he must have caught us. When he saw me bonking Aurora, he was furious. Oh my gosh. Bonking Aurora. I'm done. <laughs> He took his dadder and approached me, and I'm sure he would have killed me if I didn't jump out of the window. Almost broke both my legs. We didn't talk to each other ever since. Well, alright. If I was in his store and we're partners, and you'd for my daughter, I'd be upset too. My father ordered a recent bag of potatoes. The barman was supposed to provide them, but it didn't happen. When I asked him about it, he told me to ask you instead. I remember the barman ordered a bit of mountain vegetables, but since we had an argument, I didn't execute the order. But you can still get a potato if you help me first. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh. Like. Like. Really? I woke and saw my pigs outside their pen running around the village. I'm sure this old prick did it. But you managed to catch all of them. I gave you an order from me. You carry stuff to him. Deal. You carry his stuff to him and he'll get you potatoes. Get to work, boy. Hello, Missy. Looking great today. Oink. I'm done. I'm freaking done. Hey, Bristles. Follow me. Good morning, Salami. You look so beefy today. Oink. <laughs> Stop playing. Salami, piece of ham. Bristle, where you been? Here you go, pissy. We'll talk later. Oh, he got more pigs? Dang, how many pigs he got? Oh, there was a pig. Uh, thanks, South. Okay, so the fox is everywhere. Double checking. There's no pigs over there. All right, pig over here. Daisy, how things going today? <laughs> RPG maker, baby. Let's go. Good job, kid. Take it to the barber and he'll give you the promised potatoes. Oh my gosh. Send us on the adventure already. All this fetch quests. Go and talk to the farmer. I can't help you. Huh? Didn't you say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got even more I wanted to say. I got all the goods you ordered from. I keep forgetting. Alright, so we got bad potatoes. Say hello to your father. Let's freaking go. Bad potatoes. Nice. Bully voice origins. Yeah, man, like I, I really do appreciate when developers have voice acting. 
especially a let's player. Oh man, my throat is dry already. Thank you for Veli. I see you in case of mercy. I can always count on you. Do you know the barman procrastinated? He had B with the farmer. Sounds interesting. Not going to ask. And by the way, does it mean you're leaving now? I think I should be on my way right now. You could tell me where is that you're heading to. I want to know, just in case. Fine, I could tell you that. It's not a secret after all. I'm going to Balanta. I'll take the boat and sail straight to the island. Sounds very dangerous. Do you at least have a boat? Of course I do. A friend of mine promised to ride it to me. Relax, Dad. Everything is pr perfectly planned. And nothing can go wrong. Well, I can only hope you're not wrong. See you later. Take care. Be safe. Alright, so I should definitely... Okay, Dad doesn't have any more wooden bucket for Pia and Pookin. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. These developers, boy. I'm trying to tell you. Very often, just as I thought. I'd be coming here like every day if I live here. Anyway, do you need something from me? Save. Save just in case we lose we lose progress or the game crashes. You know we're straight. Do you guys really call this center? It's more like in the middle of nowhere. We call it center because it's geographically located in the very central part of our land. Not because it's economically or culturally the most important location. Sincerely, our entire land is like that. Nothing but trees, water, and the cage of the village. It's probably the main reason we don't have many visitors here. The western or eastern land are more appealing for the international youth. Then why are you still here? Just to suffer? Don't you want to see the aforementioned west or east? I haven't had any opportunities so far to do so. But at least today, I'm going to Belanta. Don't you think of moving abroad with all the due respect? This place doesn't give you many opportunities. I don't think so. This place is far from perfect. But it's my only home after all. Also, a S-hole. What happened to your sophisticated and serious language all of a sudden? Yeah, I like to put a mask of an ass there from time to time. I'm actually very playful, dem I mean, fox, demon. I want to make sure... I want to make a good first impression. Need another S on you before, but now, but now get to know my true personality. Yeah. But back to your mission. Is this the boat standing there yours? Yeah, it's probably the one my friend Shumar promised to get me. So convenient to have friends that always help you in need. Oh, man. Alright. Sorry to say this, but for the game to make me read the long dialogue, the game must give me some good impressions in the beginning of the game or when we start the game. That's why I decided to fully voice Origins. That bloody reading, all that stuff is so tight. It is, man. It is. It is. Like, like, uh. Very important. Yo, what's up, Ragnarok? Ragnarok. Very important, guys. When you create games like this, like, uh, that's dialogue based, long as this dialogue is going on, you got to give us some action. We need some action like ASAP because, you know, the attention span could definitely be, uh, be, you know, very short for some individuals, you know. Here at D757 Gaming, you know, I give every game a chance. You know, you can't judge a book by its cover. But sometimes, you know, as a developer, it's your job to, like, really bring interest in the game. Like, whether it's novelty or puzzle base, you know, give the player some engaging, you know, stuff to do. Like, can you see that small house over there? And I also understand that, you know, reading out loud and versus reading with your mind, you know, takes, takes, uh, it's quicker, quicker when you read with your mind instead of reading out loud. So maybe I would have been further ahead if I wasn't reading every dialogue, but 
when you live streaming, you gotta uh, make you know you gotta uh, really do some stuff like that. My only true friend has always been the elite. I see. So I'm determined to find him. But anyways, I should go talk to Shumar. I promise him to gather some alchemy ingredients as payment for giving me the boat. So it's better to do if it now. Do you wish us? Do you wish to save your progress right now in case something bad happens? What do you mean something bad happens? Like, like uh, if we fail or if we die or the game crash. Comfortable place, take a rest and do what you have to do. Okay, so he's going to sit there. So some alchemy. Golden coin. Interesting what I could do with it. So coin, the international currency. What are you going to buy? What kind of flower is this? Cute little flower. So maybe I got to talk to him first. And he'll say, hey man. Hey man, give me the white flowers or the purple flowers. I don't know. Prevelli, finally, I've been expecting you. Hello, Shumar, glad to see you again. And of course, you've been expecting me since you promised to get me a boat for the day. Haha, <laughs> sure you're right. As I promised, I did. I found a boat for you. You won't believe how lucky I was, but finding a boat for you was way easier than I expected. A few days ago, old fisherman abandoned his boat by the shore. The old guy was fuming. He wouldn't stop ranting about the low season. I he wouldn't catch a single sardine. When he calmed a bit, he just shrugged, threw everything off the board, and claimed he was retiring for good. I've just standing there the whole time. Can you believe it? He sold me the boat for literally just a few coins. A real bargain, he he. Old Pop stormed off the place and went to buy a beer someplace. That actually does sound fascinating. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> Oh yeah, the boat is ready. <laughs> Are you doing any other voice? I doubt he's doing any voices. I don't I don't see Harlequin. Cause his voice is very distinctive. So I guess uh he wanna get other people, you know what I mean, to the uh to do that instead of him. I don't know. It'd be cool if he does some voice acting. So you don't have the boat yet. You just plan to have it. Water and trees are hype. What are you talking about? It's easy to get wordy like this when you're into your own story. I'm guilty of it too. So it helps to get feedback that you need to be more concise. Mapping is weird. Bruh, the top one tile sets don't match. Story tell isn't my thing. Your PC explodes. LOL. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind uh, the dialogue. I really don't. You know, my my goal is to show as much as your game without boring the viewers. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that you guys can give feedback as well. So, I mean, that's pretty much, but. Naturally, tell me what you need. I head straight to work. Well, then, first, white days. I told you, white flower. Grab a white flower. I told you that. All right, I need a boxwood. Okay, daisy, some boxwood leaves. Uh, toxic red toast stew. Shovel. That's when you use this hoe. Make sure to destroy its roots before even touching the leaves. This way it won't hurt you. That's all I need. Hopefully it's not too much effort for you. I have to mention that everything could be found nearby. Alright. So white daisy. Alright, so we need the bush leaves. <laughs> I didn't read the last part. I was skipping. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for this. Red mushroom. Alright. Huh? 
Nah, we don't want to pick that with our bare hands. Okay, it say kill the root first. Hold up. Oh man. Now we only pick we gotta dig it up with a shovel. Oh we had to extract the root, okay. Alright. I think that's it. Hmm. White daisy. Get some leaves. Shovel. Mandragora. Alright. What the heck is a mangajora? This? Or is it this? Or is it this? Sunflower. What the heck is a mangadora? Oh my gosh. You see what I gotta go through with these RPG Maker games, guys? Ah, oh, man. Y'all just don't know what I do for the community. You gotta be really strong to play some of these games. And I got all the stamina. <laughs> I got all the stamina in the world. But uh it's good to play different games from a chance instead of like your your uh your regular battle RPGs. Pick it with your hands. Come on, man. Well, D7 is streaming, time to talk about my game non-stop. Wow, this guy has no chill. This guy has no chill. All right, so I got to deliver them like this. I'll take these. Take these. These would do. The legend say if you got a 12 of them, you could buy everything, including your own future. I'm surprised they even managed to extract it without you dying. Maybe I underestimated you. Alright, that's all I want from you. Don't forget to visit me whenever you have time. I'll give you one of my elixirs. But for now, all I can say is bon voyage. Hey, thank you for this. And thank you for giving me the boat. See you soon, my friend. Yeah, you too. And this is how I became an owner of a boat. Alright, give him some time. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm ready to go. Are you sure you're ready? I was born ready. Well, yes, but you are not. What do you mean? I mean, you're just going to get lost in the middle of the sea, setting off a voyage without any map, compass, or even element of knowledge, geography. All right, you make sense. We think I should do, so it won't happen. You should really get ready when it comes to equipment. Wouldn't it be quite expensive? Yes, normally it would, but fortunately you got me. There's a very useful tool utilized by the greatest adventures. It's called the Guiding Stone. Lucky for you, you were busy, so I took time to look around this place. There's a village named Omniacon, a bit from here where a retired traveler named Scalos lives. It's more certain he owns the Guiding Stone, I told you about. But since he's not traveling anymore, he might as well give it to you. However, expect him to want something in return. I see. Hopefully, a trip to Omniacon shouldn't take too long. It's east of here. Oh man, another fetch quest. But it makes sense. Like it it adds up, you know, you can't travel on a boat without any freaking, you know, uh compass or map. D7 has no time to rest with the RPG maker games he has to play. Yeah, man, I got a lot of freaking games. Yo, what's up, real tron? I don't know how you do it sometimes, D7. <laughs> I, I try, man. I try. And thank you for being at work and watching the stream of Ragnarok. Definitely appreciate that. Are you lost, kid? Do you need a guide? Didn't you know that you should never enter werewolf's territory? Let me give you advice. Run. Save. 
Oh, snap. Oh! You're dead. <laughs> oh, man. I went the wrong way. Alright. Oh, man, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So, Harlequin got 25 voice actors lined up. And he's paying them each a thousand dollars. So that's twenty five grand. Hold on, hold on. What happened? How? That's twenty five thousand dollars. He's paying out of pocket. <laughs> but that is cool, though. That is cool. There's no way. Oh. <laughs> I figured you was balling like that, my dude. One thousand. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, Will Black? I'm playing, uh, Hitra. Oh, he's faster than me in that. But he catches up to us at the end, like, like he gets a burst of speed. Watch. Oh, my stars. Man. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. Game over and a game over and a game over and a game over. Hey, look. I ain't feeling bad after uh, my boy, One Man Indy. One Man Indy had it rough than I had it. See, look, look. You see how he ran? Like, how? I think you need to use those obstacles to your advantage. Like when you pass that barrel. I did that. Let's try it. Let's try Jeff's. Like this. See, he's not doing nothing. Ah, guys. Don't step on the pebble. Oh. Oh, I see it. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even notice the pebble. Now the game is ramping up. Because I'm dying a lot. And y'all think it's funny. What? Oh, that's awesome, DJ. I'm glad you are better. Unless the pebble make you faster. Ah. I guess this is game over, guys. This is bringing memories back to... uh Man. This is bringing Zola's Nightmare memories. Oh my gosh. Oh! No! I had it! I had it! I had it, guys. I had it. I had it. Come on, like how he keep how he keep uh 
catching up. I ain't even stopped on no pebbles that time. Ah. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Like that. At the end, I messed up. I was supposed to win up, I guess. Oh! Yeah, I messed up that time. Oh, my gosh. So... I was on Facebook and I met this I met this cool developer that's creating a, a, a Metrovania and I told him you know I want to stream your game because it looks what the heck I told him I want to stream your game because it looks really cool and um, he said yeah man Any, anytime uh, it's gonna have a steam release but it looks pretty good though. Wh what happened? Okay. I can't I can't step there then. I can't step there then. So yeah, um, just been on other people's streams, like one man indie, talking about diversifying, especially uh, not one man indie, but um, Psychronic, cause he's starting to do uh, game reviews now. You know, he wanted to di diversify himself. So, yeah, Metrovania is like one of the second to the uh, that I like, other than RPGs. Ah. I hope nobody's counting the deaths because I sure not. I'm not counting Jack. I'm trying to survive. But I think I got it now. I think I got it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Whatever, Holly King. Whatever, man. This is different from Mega Man. See what I mean? Like, it's tricky, man. It's tricky not to hit them pebbles. See, that's why I don't like people on the sideline. Like, you on the sideline, you be like, man, this part easy. But till you play it, oh man, it's not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't spend the whole stream at this part. Ah, that tree. Oh man, dang it, man. Alright, we got it this time. We got it this time. We got it this time. If it weren't for that snow area. How? I didn't hit no pebbles. Unless the pebbles make you faster. I don't think the pebbles do anything. Ah, oh, man. Whatever, Aziel. Whatever. I think this, this is probably the end of the stream right here. Yeah, the pebbles don't do anything, I think. So I think I'm safe to walk on those. I think. Oh my gosh.
Yeah, the pebbles don't do nothing. It don't slow you down or anything. How? So, you can't go in the middle or on the bottom. You got to go up top. You got to go up top. <sighs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. That's that snow part's tricky, though. What? Why does it keep blocking my path? Like. What's the tail sign? Ah. Oh man, don't remind me of that part. Oh! <laughs> Don't remind me of that part in Battle Two. That's that's a game changer. That's why I would never live stream Battle Tools because of that. I keep chasing me, bro. Now, nah, like at the at the end part. At the end part where the ice fall down, like it just it just blocks your path. Unless that was a different part. Oh my gosh, I messed up. See that's that, that I don't I don't know I don't know like I guess you gotta the ice gonna fall regardless and you're gonna go around it so there's there's really no Pacific path it's gonna fall anyway oh my gosh why didn't you warn me about this I'm deeply sorry for never putting you in danger but I was unaware of this place as was a werewolf territory. All right, as everybody, I better not have to do it again and go back to the boat. Oh my gosh, I am not ready. Thank you, Real Tron. Thank you, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, everybody that helped me get past this part. Do you understand? You must allow me to die till my mission is finished. Actually, you did die there. I mean, the werewolf caught and massacred you, at least in a different timeline. Remember what I told you before. I could turn back time when someone wishes so. But since you already gave me permission to manipulate your timeline when we first met, there's no need to ask the same question every single time I want to undo your mistakes. So when it comes to that werewolf, running away from it, and most importantly surviving this attack was nearly impossible. That's why I gave you a limited number of chances to do so. And you finally took the right chance and that's why we're talking right now. You see, I wasn't lying when I told you I can control time. This adventure you came here to visit lives right there. I don't know. I, I guess this part right here just gave me a different burst of energy. Do I want to know why a werewolf is chasing you on a sunny beach? <laughs> man, this game. Oh, man. We went from sunny to freaking uh, cold. Like the different seasons. Snowman, his dead gaze fill your body with uneasiness. Oh snap, Bim Lounge. Bim Lounge, you're not the only one with a snowman in the game. Uh-oh. Who's there? Are you a thief? Oh, Lord. Here we go. I'm sorry for trespassing. 
but the door wasn't locked. Speaking of which, we had Christmas lights around our palm tree. Oh, wow. I'm sorry for trespassing, but the door wasn't locked. We didn't put lights outside. We put, uh, we just did lights inside the house and, uh, and some little decorations outside. But other than that, no lights this year outside. I think I put lights last year, like around the doors on in the windows and stuff. I accept your apology when you reveal your identity and the reason being here. Right. Where are my manners? We don't have palm trees like 50 feet ago. My name is Asada. Prin Valley Asada. I come to Perkushi and have a request for you, Mr. Skilos. Right? A request for me? Yes, my name's Skilos. I need something for me. I trust. Someone I trust told me you could help. I see. I won't ask much, I promise. But I need, need your understanding. And desperately need to get to Belanta. But I have no knowledge of these waters. And that's why I need a guiding stone that you surely possess. He don't got it. He don't got it. We got to go on the uh, fetch quest in order to get it. Or, you know, we got to go find it. Belanta. Do you know the waters between our land and Belanta are very dangerous? Yes, I know. But I'm ready to take the risk. No, you don't know. Have you wondered why I forsook the adventurer's lifestyle? That's because of what happened in that very sea. You see, the years ago, I and my beloved wife were passionate adventurers. We travel a lot and that stone guarantee us that we never get lost. However, one fortunate night when we both were in the middle of the sea, a giant vera inhabiting these waters emerged. We stood no chance against it. I barely managed to survive, but my wife wasn't so lucky. At that very moment, I decided to cut off from my past life. I moved to this remote village, buried the stone, and started a brand new life. Sorry to hear that. Well, I could give you the exact location where to dig. But as you can see, the weather here is very harsh. I'm running out of firewood. Oh my gosh. I told you. I told you. We got to go on the fetch quest. We got to get something in order to get this freaking stone. Ah, quality coal. All right. Deal. I guess. I guess. I hate when people say, I guess. I guess. And it seemed like the uh, the bookshelves are inside the wall. <laughs> ah, man. That's freaking go. That's freaking go. I think y'all need to step up y'all game. This game is doing it big. Where did it go? He wants me to give him coal. I don't know, but there are other people in this village too. Maybe they could get you some. Wow. What would I do without you? Other people in this village? And there's only one house? Ah, oh, man. Let's freaking go. Box of apples. Completely froze. About to say. Omiya Kukran in. Scroll with a list of guests. The last guest checked out moons ago. Trap door. Instant where it leads. Alright, so. Welcome, dear traveler. Do you want to rent a room today? Ashley, more instant whether you have some coal to sell. We do have coal, but we don't sell it. We only have rooms to rent. Do you want to rent a room? Sure. Apologies, dear travel. We don't have any free rooms at the moment. But you don't have nobody there. Why is that so? Do you really have so many guests here? We haven't had a single guest in moons. Visible confusion. Why don't you have any room for me then? That's because all of our rooms are a mess. So, why can't you clean them? In order to do so, we need our broom. Oh my gosh. Ah oh, man, D757 channel is the alright. Are you serious? You crazy. This is the best channel, the best RPG maker review channel known to man, bro. <laughs> and watch. The snowman got the broom. 
we're gonna have to do a quest for the snowman i bet some freaking oh my gosh oh man i ain't gonna bet nothing but i have a feeling we're gonna have to do uh a quest for the snowman all right uh not available reception in there something in the dark wow and by that something you mean fearsome beetles maybe i'm wrong i think i'm wrong <laughs> no snowman insects yes they are not regular insects they are large in the dark south ready to bite off human heads they're very resistant it's a threat to our kind i don't believe some bugs be that dangerous let me enter your basement. Now I'll get that broom for you. So you give me some coal in return. I know how you're confident, D7. I have low self-esteem by nature. Man. When I first started streaming RPGs. Especially live streaming. I was the nervous wreck. I was nervous. Like, when people come and talk. You know... I was nervous. Sometimes you still get nervous too. Sometimes you get little butterflies in your stomach. But you know, once you build relationships with people, you feel better. So, I have y'all to thank for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have, I have y'all to thank a lot for that. You know, because I could come out here and be natural. I could be myself. While streaming. Because cause in the beginning. You try to. You try to do stuff. Professionally. You know what I mean. You try to be nice. And you know. Watch your speech. And not try to clown around as much. But you know. You got to. Clowning around is really good to do. Got it. I'm going to ease up on the dialogue, guys. My freaking throat is hurting <laughs> like a mother. So I'm just letting you know. Oh, man. I didn't save it. Oh, heck to the nah. Where's my fox? Where's my fox? Oh, he's. Oh, there he is. All right. Do you feel cold? I don't know exactly what or who you are. Certainly expect you to feel cold the same with me. Why wouldn't I? My corporal form is not that different from your body. I see. Alright, never mind. So he is actually a mortal fox. Alright, so What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bit his head off. <laughs> You're dead. Come on, bro. What's going on with these puzzles? Oh, stars. So three hits, you're dead. Three hits, you're dead. Had a feeling one was there. Oh, a skeleton. Oh, man, I should never talk to that thing. There's an ass of the ground. I better keep it. What? Oh, we got the broom. The broom is in the bucket. The broom is in the bucket. So we need the ass of chop wood, and the broom is right there. Oh man. <laughs> man, that's some big beetles, bro. <laughs> Ain't no freaking way. So I wonder if my hit count restarts. Yes, it does. Oh, shoot. <laughs> See, look, I be playing these games so you already know how to play them on your streams. 
You know, D7 is the sacrificial streamer. You know, I take the sacrifice. I take the blunt of the damage so your stream can look good. Broom is in there. Get the axe. Let's go. Alright, so we come here. Items. Hit broom. Here's your broom, mister. Unbelievable. You really did it. But what about the beetles? Well, I must admit, you're not lying about them. They are truly horrendous and disgusting. Tell me, how is that even possible? Where did they come from? I'm not even playing the same game. You got to, man. You got to. The developer need your input. Need everybody input. And I promise them that, hey, I got other developers that can play your game for you and give you good feedback. So, you got, you have to play these games. You have to already promise them. Already promised them. You don't want to you don't want people to call me D757 Lion Man. I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. We have no idea what I'm about to do with them. The Vicken Chronicles goes in the deep eight should be on my next end. I'm already playing to Vicken Chronicles. You late. You late. I'm trying to 100 percent that game as well. You know, get the platinum trophy. One man and he said, can't wait to see how you do with that, Harlequin. Oh, Deep 8. Harlequin, one thing about Harlequin, he's a great gamer, man. Like, one thing I could give him credit, he's good at games. He's really good at games. You know. Good for you. Alright. So... You know, I could get him definitely credit for that. He's good for something. <laughs> He's good for something. And, and, and stream, I mean, gaming, very difficult games is what he's good at. Number one on it is closed. It's closed. I, will, I really want to see the rooms. Yes. There's many coins inside. All them made of chocolate. Oh man. I want to steal it. That's ass. Wood don't need more chopping. What about the tree? Nope. That won't work. Coal. Finally, some good coal. Now I can warm myself. As I promised. Now I tell you where the stone is buried. To find the stone, stand right before the snowman. Head six steps to the south. And later three steps to the east. And start digging right there. So go down six. And go right three. Then we already have a shovel. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Three. I think we went two steps. Dig here. Oh snap. Here we go. Guiding artifact. What do we dig here? Oh man, you can only dig once. Guiding stone. Let's go. Already showed D7 how to play Prince of Persia. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. He killed that freaking game. He killed that game. Like, oh man, he a beast at that game. I ain't gonna lie. Glad you're not gone yet, Prinvelli. I'm done preparing your elixir. Yes, you attain the potion. I call it burning soup. What a stupid name. But what does it do? First of all, it's not a potion that you should drink. In fact, a very powerful weapon. I know that as a venture, you're encountering lots of disgusting creatures. Alright, so I'm, I'm thinking we're going to use this uh, on the werewolf. 
Don't worry about me. Good point. So, I mean, the game, we are an hour and a half in. The game is starting to get interesting. Like, it really is. Like, when you get past the dialogue and start actually doing stuff. Oh, man. It's actually, you know, pretty, uh, pretty decent. Not going to talk more about it, but, you know, till we get to the D7 score. But so far, I mean, it's RPG Maker. You know, this is a game. This is a game that, uh, one... Can actually use their imagination, like create unique puzzles and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, excellent. Seems like we have to part our ways. No way, Miss Arsada. You need to bear with me a little longer. I shall come to you the entire way. There are many unexpected events that can happen in the middle of the sea. You may encounter a storm or a vortex. All right, I or a monster. Please stop. Or some pirates. Just shut up already. You're not helping me. Undermining my self-confidence is the last thing I need right now. Just stop seeing everything in such dark colors. It's actually the opposite of helpful. Boy, this fox is such a pain in the butt at times. Anyway, I should get going before it gets dark. Sure. The journey is going to be a long one. Do you wish to save? Yes. So we are hour and 23 minutes in the game. It's a game for me not to... Oh, my God. I ain't worried about you, DJ. DJ King is crazy. So, hmm. What does the leak really mean to you? <laughs> what should I say? Is he just a friend? He's an important person or he needs me? What should I say? Because I'm scared. I might say the wrong response. So, I'm not going to touch that response with a five-foot pole. So, if you guys want to say something about it, which one should I pick? Forever, speak now or hold your peace. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. You say I'm just a friend. All right, he's just a friend. <laughs> he's just a friend. What do you mean? He's just a friend. Just a friend. You willing to risk your own life to save? If I don't risk my life, then he might lose his own. See what I mean? Like... I mean, I have a best friend. You know, I've been friends with this person since I was 12. I'm 38 now. So we've been friends for 26 years. I think I would go on a voyage to rescue him if I knew he was in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's how he feel about this person. You know what I'm saying? But the way the choices is given, man, like like some of the, the, the choices we get to choose, I don't know, man. I think he likes them. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think he likes them more than a friend. But 
You never know uh, until you play the game some more. Let's freaking go. <laughs> what are you trying to say? If I don't save him and let him die, there will be one loss, one life lost. If I sacrifice my life to save him, then there will be one life lost too. So it evens out. Nah, not good enough. I have to rescue you knowing that I'm going to rescue you. If there's no hope in rescuing you, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, buddy. Bye-bye. I mean, it ain't nothing I can do. You know what I mean? Shoot. I ain't lying. It ain't nothing I'll be able to do. It's Naruto and Sasuke thing. Y'all gonna hate me? I probably never seen a whole episode of Naruto. I probably never seen an episode. So, I seen little snippets here and there, but not like an episode. However, it would be a shame if both of you died. If I can't save the most important person in my life, then what is the point of my existence? Alright, so yeah, yeah, most important person in your life other than your father. So yeah, he got some feelings about this person. Daydreaming, aren't you? That's a tranquility of the sea that always calms me down. Endless void always open. Always reflected. Our deepest feeling. Alright, if you guys were creating this game, can you make the illusion that this boat was actually moving without them while the boat actually moving. Like I feel like. They're just sitting there. Like there's no current. There's no. uh, You know no waves pushing them. They're just floating. And there's no oars in the boat as well. So I don't know. Well it's like Goku and Krillin. Okay now I understand. Because I love Dragon Ball. I love it. Endless voice always open. Always reflecting our deepest feelings. You know. When I was younger, I used to come to the beach just to scream my lungs out to the water. The water never told me all. I don't know, man. I'm just thinking. Is one man indie going to do a face reveal, like a camera reveal? You know, it took the Nerd Mansion like months to do a, a, a camera reveal. I don't know. The one man indie is a little bit mysterious. He always asking us. He's always asking us, hey, man, you know, um, you know, um, whatever, whatever, whatever. But he's a mysterious guy. And a lot of you guys don't know Guinea Miles. The only reason why Guinea Miles is on camera is because I convinced him to show his face on camera. So y'all guys got to thank me for that. And Harlequin too. I told Harlequin to get a camera too. And now look at him. Live freaking streaming. You know what I mean? So D7 done impacted a lot of people's lives to be honest. And y'all don't even know. Like a lot of these streamers. Dirt Mansion. Uh, Guinea Miles. Freaking Harlequin. You only seeing them because of me. You know what I'm saying? I say man show y'all face. Stop being, stop being scared behind the camera. You know, behind uh, the computer screen and show what you look like. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Especially if you're doing the streaming thing. You know what I mean? Some people could get away with the uh, with the uh, the voiceover, but their voices ain't really that unique. So yeah, show your face. Let's go. So maybe we may get a one man indie face relevation. I mean, revelation. <laughs> My English is messed up too. You humans and your emotions never ceases to amaze me. Let's freaking go. Sure. Maybe it's high time for you to talk about yourself. If not a human. Oh, what are you? Humans. Oh my gosh. You see, I don't want to introduce my true identity before since I didn't know what to expect from you if you learned that. I'm a demon. That's why I'm able to do things you kind cannot do. I'm aware you people deem us untrustworthy. But I promise to help you and I'm a creature of my word. I got, I knew he was a demon because he said I'm a deem, D-E-M. Then he said Fox. I already knew that. Why would you do this? All that matters to my kind is power. Aiding you just means to an end. I don't harbor any love for you or any other human. 
All your kind's feelings are a foreign concept to us. Are you good or evil? I recognize neither good nor evil. These concepts are just as alien to us as your emotions. We don't analyze analyze is this spell right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a Y. But Brit, you know, uh, the Queen's English may use an I. Whether something is good or bad, we only see objective value. Personally, I recommend that the dialogue change slightly aside from your initial response. Oh yeah, set the parallax background to move or have the ship wiggle a bit. I will have to have ripples with the boat. And yeah, the way you make the boat look like it's going uh, to look like it's something going is to put a horizon in the parallax moving in the background. Now, Harlequin's famous. So much dialogue <laughs> and the scene is not even interesting. The water would have been better off as a parallax. Yeah, like, yeah, this, definitely this scene, like, we do recommend don't have scenes where they're just sitting and there's no action. Because this is a novel. This is a novelty. It's like a movie. Do you know what happens after death? Um, I'm deeply sorry, Pinvelli, but I'm not allowed to answer this kind of question. Why is that so? Please let it go. Discussing this can cause us both trouble. All right. Oh, man. What's the reason why you want to know this? Human used to want to know what happens to them after they die. They're deeply afraid of this, so they usually pretend this won't happen. Which considers the fact how infernal their lives are is ridiculous. However, there is always exception to the rule. Some people seem to be actively searching for the answer. And apparently, a person of this kind is sitting in front of me. Although, I cannot give you a satisfied answer of your concern. I could try to understand the reason you're asking it in the first place. So tell me, human. Why do you want to know something like this? The thing is, I don't even know where my miserable is this embarrassing significance. All my life was completely unproductive. I don't think I've achieved anything of value. Anything I really remember for. So what is so bad about this? Could have done much more. Like here's some fish jumping out the seagull. Or some wind blowing away. Do note. Do note. This is the developer's first game. This is the developer's first project. So it wasn't the first. Wasn't the second. Wasn't the third. Or what not. But. Is it commercial? I don't know. I don't know if it's commercial. I don't know if it's a commercial game. So, uh, for a first project with custom, uh, I want to say custom sprites and stuff, they're actually doing pretty good, you know, compared to a lot of people's first games. So, uh, can't be that bad. You know, they're actually making it interesting with the, you know, with the chase. And some of the fetch quests. I mean, the fetch quest is okay. You know, but it's not really the fun part of the game. But it seemed like we only had one great part. And that was the werewolf chasing us. You know what I mean? But the dialogue is expected for this type of game. It really is. But uh, at least there's character bro uh, growth too. Like, like... Like, so much is becoming unveiling to the player about the character. Since I was born, my mother was overprotecting me. She didn't want me to go to public schools. She allowed me to go outside only with her supervision. My father has always been completely different. However, to her death, it was only my mother's role to care about my education. Losing my mother was the worst trauma I ever experienced. Yeah, it was a begging. Yeah, it was the beginning of a new chapter in my life. For the first time, I was allowed to see the world around me. To meet new people who are different than me. This was the first time I actually lived my life. Alright, so if mother had you so had you so um uh, you know uh locked up um uh, incarcerated if you wanna say that uh 
then why are you so resent, res, resenting to the father when he allowed to do things that you want him to do? You know what I mean? After years, I understood that what my mother did to me was very harmful. That she was the most abusive person around me. This got me to question whether she actually a good person. I came to the conclusion that her death was the best thing that could ever happen to me. Just to later hate myself for thinking so. What do you think your mother would think of you now? Would she be proud? I don't know. I want to believe she watching over me now. But I know I rejected everything she ever taught me. Taught was spelled wrong. Need an A instead of an O. So it's safe to assume she disappointed of me. Why though? Will the seeing you thrive make her realize she made a mistake? I can't ever be sure about that. If there's life after death, I might have the opportunity to ask her about that myself. But if there's nothing, well, in that case, it got quiet all of a sudden. It's no good. Something like this always a bad omen. What do you mean? Keep your eyes open. Remember, those waters are inhabited by the most loathsome of creatures. It's highly possible we just fell into their trap. <laughs> what the heck is that? That is freaking cool. That's cool. I knew this. We can't avoid this abomination. Azari, what is it? Shh. Be quiet. Don't make any sudden moves. If we stand still. That was auto. We lost our boat. Follow me. I know where the nearest island is. There's no way you swimming in the in the middle of the ocean. Ain't no freaking way. Lynn, finally! Swimming is so exhausting. I'm sorry, what is that monster? It was a Vera. I was aware they dwell in this water. However, they are dormant most of their lives and wake up occasionally to eat. Which means we were extremely unlucky to encounter one of them. Can you turn back time? Can you turn back time before we lost our boat? Prevailing. I can do it, but there's absolutely no use for that. Even if we try to avoid the area we are attacked, the bear would smell and ambush us again. They have a very well developed sense of smelling and can traverse the area very quickly. And waiting for it to go dormant again would take days or even weeks. The only sensical thing now is to stay here for a while for a new means of transport. But how? Considering there's a huge castle in front of us indicates that whoever lives here must be very rich. Alright. So, let's go. Friend. Let's save it. Meaning we might do a puzzle. Alright. Big world. Big map. Yeah, I do agree. The map, I mean, you got to appreciate the tile set that they're using, you know, with the RTP assets. I mean, you got to appreciate the effort. You know, I can't really make a good map, but, you know, this doesn't look too bad, though, to be honest. It don't look too bad. I'm sure you're smart enough to find a different way in. Oh yeah, and I just seen it. Door wide open. Door wide open. Armory. Come to me, newcomer. <laughs> like, you just come in that freaking castle and you just get greeted. Come to me, newcomer. Or not, who goes there? Oh my gosh. My third eye tell me you're on the way to pay the King Arvine a visit. And his majesty, his peace is quiet. It is my and as well all the guardians duty to stop unwanted intruder. Yet your presence appears to be fully justified. I can read your memories like a book. I'm aware of your struggles. I'm sure Arvine will be willing to help you as soon as you prove him your value. He, as befits a good ruler, is inclined to help anyone if he believes in their cause. You earn my permission to proceed. However, it is not only my decision to make. You need to meet the other four guardians and ask them for permission as well. 
Where to find them, you see. This is where the things get tricky. They've been around us the whole time, yet are absent. Take this handy tool. Revealing Scanner. This combination of magic and technology is all you need. It let us... It use... It use... It use lets uh, you reveal what stays hidden. Activate it where the guards take refuge and they shall show themselves. But wait, I don't even know where the refuge is. The first guardian stands in the island most southern edge. The second guardian awaits among the fountains. The third rests between two towers. The fourth guardian took resident where the flowers sleep. Good luck. I forgot already. Oh my gosh. I forgot already. Alright. Between two towers. Southern's edge. Between the fountains. All right. Between two towers. So those towers or pillars. The flower garden. Is it talking about that flower? Let's read the clue again. Island most southern edge among the fountains two towers flower sleep flower sleep tricky puzzle reveal scanner I'm the second door guardian. Shard. Alright, so Southern Island. <laughs> oh man, that was cool. That was cool. Alright, Southern Island's gotta be down here. No, this is this isn't an island, but I would say here. I would say about right here. Let's go. Alright. So we got the medallion. That's pretty cool. And y'all said D7. Can't do this. Alright, where the flowers sleep, I would say here. Cause these are flowers. Ooh, woo. Woo 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 I'm the fourth and probably the most important dwarf guarding. Defending peace and quiet, here is my duty. Uh with you two I think I gotta set like you gotta you gotta chat to keep the avatar. So they're there, they just, uh, it won't appear until they start talking again. Alright, two towers, so it's right here. Let's go. Be right here. Easy freaking puzzle, man. Easy puzzle. You gotta come better than that. You gotta come better than that, boy. If they left, if they left, it's going to be, uh, send the pay. <laughs> it's going to be send the pay. Let's go. 
All right. So we gotta give the medallion to the guy. Now that all all shards have been gathered, you shall proceed connecting them together. What do you mean? What do you mean? All right. To do so, an anvil might be of use. What anvil? Look around and see whether something might come in handy. Alright. Anvil right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Will the ass work? Anvil with a blade up top. Okay, so we need, uh, like a hammer. What the heck? Nah, I can't be in here. So, I mean, the developer ain't gonna make it that easy. I, I wouldn't think they would. Or lurking. Pretty sure they're lurking. Alright. Oh, shoot. I think I gotta do it here. I thought I had to look for a hammer. Okay. I got the, I got the shards. And one medallion. Let's go. Put the medallion on the statue's neck. Congratulations, adventure, on passing the test. You're allowed to enter King's Arvon Castle now. That simple? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nice. You heard the gate open. Amazing. This place is even fancier than my old court. Before we lost it. Welcome to our castle, my lord. We haven't had any visitors for a long time. Ten years at least. Ten years? My gosh. I, a humble servant of King Arvan, greet you, noble guests. Conan. Conan is my name. How can I tell you, Lord? Asada. Prenveli Asada. Then, how can I tell you, Lord Asada? I need to talk to the king. I must disappoint you, sir. His majesty is out of my reach now. I see, sir. But I can't stress enough how important it is for me. And this would mean the world if I could actually see him. I understand, my lord. But I really cannot help you myself. The only one servant of the red asset to a messy is the cook. So, you telling me he don't got access but the cook do? What the heck? F. How many dishes do I have to make? Just the four of us? It makes no sit sense. Um, Mr. Cook? This job is so freaking stupid. I need a break. Hey, excuse me. Huh? Just who are you and what are you doing in my kitchen? Could you help me? I heard you're the only one that had entered the throne room. The only one? Well, I'm the only remaining man in the service of Majesty. I had access to all this run. Well... I seen the butler in the hall, so... Well, I ain't counting this. This, this worth of eggs, breath, and food. One in this place all day. Alright, so... 
We're gonna get on another uh fetch quest. And the answer is no. Help, help me. Probably need to get uh stuff from the garden. Get the fire going. All the torches better be lit when I see you again. Take the matches and light the torches. Alright, so. Oh man, so I gotta do this. What torches? Lighting the whole castle? Okay, I have to admit, this place is much fancier than my old court. What am I lighting? Hello, my noble guest. May I be your host here? Princess? Yes. Wait, what a relief. You're not some old goat. In any case, my name is Polonesca, but you call me Pol. Want to play hide and seek? Oh man, hide and seek. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Nah, I'm not gonna read that. So is she still in here? Or she's somewhere in the castle. Then she's hiding in the castle somewhere. The barbecue looking torches. All right. I am lost. Oh, this thing. I have a feeling I have to do the hide and seek anyway. The way this game is going. So yeah, let's find this little girl. Alright. She got to be. Where is she? You would figure she at least be like in the closet or something. Do do. Nope, she. I don't think she's in here. Nah. My name is Pola. My name is Pola. Child was learning how to write. Look inside. She's probably hidden here. Nothing but ash. Never mind. Where is this girl? Alright, we seem we can't find the girl. She might be in the area in the game where we don't have access. Copy of your mother's painting? What the heck? Did you light the torches already? Uh, yeah. I did. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. Good job. Now go get the place from the highest shelf. 
Ceramics are the highest quality of store there. I am tall, but not this tall. I need something to help me reach the plates. What? Chair. Footstool. Oh, nice. What would I do without my chat? Man, I don't know, man. Looking crazy. <laughs> Golden coin. Oh, wow. So, it seems... I mean, it, it says you gotta get 12 coins... To uh, to actually be able to like have anything you want. Okay, so we now we gotta put them on the table. Put place on the table. Yes. Et voila. All right. All right. One last thing. Take this key to the storeroom. My dry wine. When you're done, you get your prize. Oh man, watch. You got bugs. It's golden coin. There's something about coins and buckets in this castle. Hmm, what's this? It's a doll. Pick up the dog. Wait a minute. How did you enter this room? It was closed until now. That's my secret. I was sure you'd never find me here. Is this yours? It's my dog. It must have dropped it while running. I see why you found me. I need to be more careful next time. No one can hide from me. In any case, thank you for entertaining me. This castle is so boring. All these little mapping errors. Take this little gift as my appreciation. You were given a golden coin. But why? You didn't need to. This little coin doesn't matter that much to me. But let it be your lucky talisman. Anyway, I suppose your primary goal is to put, pay my father a visit. I will hold on to your word. All right, come on. The dialogue. Did we get the wine? Still got to go in there and get the wine. Don't drink it. You know how you like to drink, boy. Well, well, I have to admit, you're not as useless as I expected. Maybe I should have been so harsh on you. Okay, then. You helped me so. I have to help you, I guess. The huge gate in the hallway leads to the throne room where the master currently is. Close that moment, but I have the key to open it. You already know the gates and the castle are not over at the keys. But something must serve as a key. To open this particular gate, you have to take this medallion and put it on a bus neck. You get on the throne room entrance medallion. Alright, I think I know where it's at. That's why you explore. That's why you explore. You take your time. Because you find stuff like this. Okay. I knew it. I knew it was taking a shower. You know, got to do your yearly chores. <laughs> oh, man, you funny. But before you walk through that gate, I have to warn you, my lord, that his majesty doesn't seem to allow anyone in the room first you need. Put your skills on trial to defeat all the challenges that wait some his majesty will let you talk to him. I guess. Like, there we go with I guess again. 
All right, let's find our fox. In case we die, we get to save it. And by dying is not be able to do the challenges. All right, let's go. Oh, shoot. What? Ah, oh, one of these. Oh my gosh, not one of these puzzles, bro. Oh my gosh, I hate these with a passion. One over ah. I just I just think these puzzle this type of puzzle is just not even worth it. Like, I'm not going to remember it. And, and it's going... Ah! Oh, my gosh! I almost had it. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, four. Brent, you better not have this... Hey, Brent, you better not have this game, this puzzle in your game. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. I get it. No, no. One over. It's one. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, four up, four. Like, that's too fast. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, one more. Over. Oh, gosh. Unless... Okay, I gotta go over twice, then up, then down. Went too fast. I would suggest slow the puzzle down a little bit. I mean, you're gonna have individuals that's not good at these puzzles. Three over. Down. <laughs> oh my gosh.
Oh, three over. Darn it. All right. Process of elimination. Oh, man. What was it after that? Two, three, down, left, left, left. All right, let's look at it one more time. I think we got it. Okay, it's four. Okay, like this. Come on, bro. This freaking puzzle. Okay. Making progress. Okay, okay, we got it. 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 Oh my gosh. And we got more puzzles. What the heck? How am I supposed to play this? Okay, chess. Find two missing chessmans and win the game? What if you don't know how to play chess? Oh, man. What am I supposed to do? If you get stuck, talk to one of the night. Alright. Uh I know how to play chess. But what are we? White or black? Pawns go up one. Okay, pawn been eliminated. So let's move. Pawn won't move. So do we gotta find? They say find the pieces, right? Find two missing chessmen and win the game. If you get stuck, talk to one of the knights. <laughs> Excuse me. I actually like this puzzle. See, this is something different that that we're not used to every in every RPG game. This is actually pretty unique.
Yes, I messed up. And see what happens. The chest turned to the original position. Like, what, what? They won't move. Pawn won't move. Unless... Okay, I don't have nothing to give that. The axe doesn't work. That doesn't work. <laughs> you got the wrong DJ. Open the wardrobe. Elegant clothes and a piece of a railroad. Railroad track. So I guess I put that there. Okay, so we're missing more of the railroad. All right. Okay, so where's the other pieces at? Railroad track. And it's a straight one. I don't think it matters where you put it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so we got one more thing we got to find. All right, so where could the other piece be? Inside the fireplace. I think the one in there. There's nowhere else to look. I found a switch. Oh, snap. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. So that's the that's the queen. That's the queen that we need. Moving no longer. So, okay. Let's go. Ho ho ho. Oh man, this is not good. Okay, what causes this to move? Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so queen. This is the king. So the queen position is next to the king on the left side. It's on the opposite side. So the king. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, this is the king. No, 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 no. Yeah, the king got. I thought the queen was the taller piece. So this is the king, right? For y'all chess fans out there. Yeah, because next to the rook is the bishop. Yeah, next to the rook is the bishop. <laughs> so it goes here. That I do know. That I do know. But it says we have to win. All right. The king is usually the one with the cross on his head. Okay. So that is the king. Alright. So where's the other piece at? Let's freaking go. Bookshelf with no books. Oh man. I think I had enough of puzzles in one day. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait till I get this game to the D7 score. I'm going I'm to grill this game. No, I did not mess up. I think I did mess up because something should have happened. Something should have happened. 
Unless I should have moved it here. No, because it could only go on this color. So white and white, if that's the queen. Then we would have put the king in checkmate. So it had to go here. Okay, that's no longer moving. So I think this piece has to go here to put it in check. Short is the king. So the queen. So the queen. The king goes his own color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The king go on his own color. So the tall one is the queen. Yup. Yup. You are right. So I think this one goes here. But. You can still move it. I ain't hear no clicking. Yeah, the queen is the taller piece. The queen is the taller piece. I used to play chess. Been a long time though. Been a long freaking time. So where's the third piece? Unless boom, boom, boom. We still gonna miss this. Oh my gosh. I think I got to lay down. Oh wow. The game done glitched on us. That's not good. So this is the king. <laughs> this is the king. But it's wrong. But I think the king go on his own color. So if it's black. Then this got to be the king's chest. Alright. So let's. I think we screwed up. I think we screwed up. Yeah. Alright, so I think the piece got to go here. Yeah, I think it has to go here. Oh my gosh. Hold on, the statue moved. Oh, it just do the uh the placement of the chest piece so maybe it goes here uh shucks no hint or anything Chessman won't move. Oh, man. Find two missing chessmen. See, we only got one of the knights. All right, we messed up again. Oh, my gosh. Why give me a puzzle like this? Why? Okay, the tracks are in place. Oh my gosh. So we got to put this somewhere. But where? Uh 
don't know. If the dev could fix the chessboard, it would be nice. I mean, the chessboard is correct. The chessboard is correct. But... Yeah, the king is on his own color. And... Do I gotta put it there? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt that goes there. Alright, let's try this. Put that there. Pawn won't move. The kings don't face each other. Yeah, but it's nowhere I could put it. Yeah, but the black, the king. Oh, really? Didn't y'all see me check these things? I check every bucket, every bookshelf. And now I get it. Oh, man. What, what a place. What a place to put that in there. Let's go. So we were right. This is the bishop. The uh, yeah, this is the bishop. That goes next to the uh to the to the knight. So that goes here. But there's no confirmation noise or anything saying that we got it right. Like no click, no uh magic sound. The pawn won't move. Chessman won't move. What? <clears throat> All right. So what am I supposed to do? So I think I got to put the ch Oh, I have to win the game. So I got to put him in checkmate. That's what I'm thinking. But. Let me look at this board. Oh my gosh. I found the two missing chest, chest pieces. Right? So the rook goes here. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Uh Nah, that's wrong. <laughs> that's that is freaking wrong. Yeah, I gotta check made it, right? Oh my gosh. Why can't why can't this just be checkers? Alright, so if this piece was here. 
the only legal move that I can make is this. If I put if I put uh dang it. Oh my gosh. This is a good puzzle. Put them both diagonal to the Black King. Oh my gosh, I wish it was that simple. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know how many moves I got. D7 can't play chess, only chess. I can play chess. It's been so long. It's been so long. But. <laughs> it's, man. It's RPG Maker Chess. Oh man, I screwed up. I screwed up, bro. Oh man. I think you got the wrong guy to play this game. Bim Lounge said, How many moves do I got? Like, really? Oh my gosh. I mean, the chessman won't move. So I guess the bigger pieces are called chessmen. Mm. Put one in front of the black queen. How? I can't. If this the queen... I can't do that. Unless it's in the angle. Like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, oh my gosh. I have no idea what I'm doing. And this gotta be the king. Oh man, is there any hints? Let's talk to this cat. I don't know what to do anymore. Playing chess, especially if I don't ever see. Hey, you ever heard of Scholar Mate? It happened when you checkmate the king in just four moves. To achieve it, the queen must go to f7 and the bishop c4. So that is the queen piece. That's a queen. F7, C4. Queen, F7, C4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, B, C, D, E, F. So queen goes here. <laughs> so this is a queen piece. It's weird. F7 C4 A, B, C, one, two, hold on. 
A, B, C, one, two, three, four. What? C, four. One, two, three, four, A, B, C. <laughs> A, B, C. So, right here. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh man, I wouldn't know what to do without you guys. All right, I hear a click. Okay, C A B C. Okay, D E F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's supposed to be here. F7 A B C D E F 1 2 3 4 5 6, six. Okay, got to go here. Okay. Thanks Harlequin. Oh man. I want to know what to do without you, my guy. I want to know I, I wouldn't even know what to do. I'd probably be here all freaking day. Oh my gosh, this game you see what I do? D7 is teaching y'all how to play chess as well. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Jump in there. You know we gotta jump in there, so might as well do it. Ouch. Alright, here's another... Crazy puzzle. Every time you touch me, I'm cold. My friends meet me at the corner. I'm always the tallest in one room. What am I? You're always the tallest in one room. You're the ceiling, right? What the heck? Alright, so we don't get no help by the cat this time. Am I a bookshelf? Every time you touch me, I'm cold. Every time you touch me, I'm cold. My friends meet me at the corner. I'm always the tallest in the room. Thank you, Fortuna, for helping as well. <laughs> always the tallest in the room. What am I? Bookshelf is cold. The grandfather clock is cold. Uh, statue. It's cold. Yeah. Incorrect. Oh, my stars. Mirror. Every time you touch a mirror. Bed. A bed. It's always in the corner of a room. And it is cold to the touch. Oh, snap. Pedestal. Corner pedestal. Bookshelf. Incorrect. Oh, gosh. I'm glad I saved it. Oh, wow, he actually did rewind time. Because the blood stains right there. Pedestal. What? I don't get it. I do not get it.
listen to this riddle. Every time you touch me, I'm cold. My friends meet me at the corner. I'm always the tallest one in the room. Bucket of water. Try the window. Incorrect. 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 All of them is incorrect. Incorrect. It's not a bit. It's not nothing. Stool. Incorrect. Statue. Incorrect. <laughs> we talked to everything. Except the bookshelf. Ah. Oh my god. Interact with the corner. Ah, man, come on. Mops a kiss. Mops a kiss the freaking bee. <laughs> okay, Mopsicus. Okay, okay. Okay. That was a good one. I'm trying everything, man. I'm trying everything. Lord knows. If it won't if it won't for you guys, I would not figure that out. I still I still be doing this <laughs> in the same part. He's so concentrated on his duty that he won't even look at you. Oh, man. Please let this be. Arvon, this is the king we're going to see. Uh, I need more time. Yeah, I'm finally here. I'm so tired. I can feel my... I'm tired, like... Physically tired right now, too. Ah, man. We need a boat, King. But they said they said some trials. So I guess we got more trials we're going to have to do. All right. Your Highness. I am coming with you with great requests. Say no more, my guest. I've been deserving you the whole time. You help my royal cook fulfill his duties. You put a smile on my only daughter's face. And most importantly, you pass every single trial I put you to. You deserve your wish to be granted. So tell me, my honorable guest, what is your request? So the thing is... <laughs> Thank you once again, your majesty, for giving me your boat. You literally saving my life. It's nothing. I have more than 30 boats like this. All I could do is just wish you... Man, you should have asked for money. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure to stay in your castle. You can visit us anytime you wish. But without all these trials the next time. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, don't leave just yet. Not before saying goodbye to me. Pola. I'm so sorry I almost forgot. I just wanted to tell you, please always remember about me. Don't worry, you pretty. I'm not planning to let you slip from my memory anytime soon. What a relief to hear that. Please take this doll. What? Why? Her name is Cookie. She's been my best friend for my entire life. But I think I'm too old for her already. Also giving you a piece of myself is my way to make sure you always remember me. Of course, Pola. I will remember you. 
Haha. <laughs> How is your is this your crisis going? Don't start over again, please. I was quite vulnerable back then, so forget everything I said. I love to. Too bad my memory never shades. Oh, what a pain! Now I have to watch what I'm talking to. Don't worry, I tell no one. Gossip is my thing. So where are we up to now? Nothing about my plans has changed. I'm sailing straight to Balantia because Dalit needs me. This game was a demo of the tale of Hitra. Tile sets. Megabari. Okay, so we got custom tiles. Starbird, Candy Coated Response, Avery Kalakawa, Shower, Ayani, Azukazuma, Peshko. Once again, D7 has completed another RPG Maker demo. Not many, many developers or streamers does this. I'm a freaking beast. With the help of everybody in the chat, definitely appreciate you guys for assisting me with the puzzles and stuff like that. Now, D7 will have to wait for the RPG Jam to finish so he could play even more RPG games. Also in February. Oh, we got some more jams coming up. Let's go. Certain jams I will touch, some I will not. Yes, we just finished this puzzle game and you caught the best part. You caught the best part, the D7 score. So the font is custom. A trophic laughs. It is a custom font. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it, but it definitely is. So Hitra. The Tales of Hitra. By Mega Belot. Margo Belot. <laughs> Sorry for messing up your name, but yeah. We have reached the point. Where we're going to review the game and tell you what I think about the game, the gameplay, and everything. So, yeah, uh, let's talk about it. All right, so let me set everything up for the D7 score. Let's freaking go. Once again, thank Brent Rawson for this. Lovely D757 Dark Man D Dragon Ball Edition uh, logo. Definitely appreciate you once again. Can never hide my excitement. So yeah. While I get everything up for the D7 score. And once again, you know, the D7 score is just basically my opinion about the game. And what I think about it pretty much. The Tale of Hitra by I want to mess the name up so let me see the name again. Uh, it, the developer is called Mego Bari. Mego Bari. In this game, I learned about this game on the uh, RPG beta testers. So it is made with RPG Maker MZ, and uh, it is by a small developer. So, which make it more special. So yeah, uh, D7 score is about to commit. So yeah, let's talk about it. Let's go. All right, so the best score, the most official score in all the RPG Maker history from any Let's Player. This this score is the only reliablest one out of all the uh, Let's Players that's in the RPG Maker business of being a Let's Player. <laughs> so let's we can go. Alright, so the tell it hit you. Um I actually learned about this game 
wow you know on rpg beta testers i have never seen it like you know on itch.io it's probably been up there for a while but you know the developer is still looking for feedback and uh, thoughts about the puzzles and stuff like that so um they are always jammed I think I give this a two star, maybe three. Alright, so the story. The story of this game. The story you woke up in a dream. You're dreaming. You know you're in this land. You're following this fox until you meet your best friend. Who is in danger? Your best friend is trying to warn you, you know, stop the foolishness. Uh, don't come look for me because it's useless. You're going to, it's dangerous. You're going to get trapped and stuff like that. So, um, you're not going to get a true story unless you don't read the books. Even with the dialogue and stuff like that, you're not going to get the true, uh, you're not going to get the true, the real meat of the story. You actually have to read the diary, the journals, uh, about, you know, um, your friend. Or you're not going to know. You're not going to know what his true purpose is or his feeling or his true feeling behind his friend. I mean, we actually really don't know the true feeling, but this is a life and death situation that. Uh, the hero must partake on to rescue his friend. So, you could definitely miss out on a lot of meat if you don't explore and read the diaries and stuff like that. So, maybe uh, the developer, they're not really trying to give as way as too much. Because given the fact, you know, we got to know who this Hitra is and uh, and uh, where our friend is, you know, and, and what we know the purpose, why he went, you know, which we learned reading his diary. So we probably wouldn't even know the purpose if we didn't read the book. So the story can easily be missed like good chunks of it could easily be missed if you don't like to read the dialogue like with books and stuff but i i really think it was intriguing you know uh the characters could have been written a little bit better you know like the dialogue but i understand english isn't the first language of the developer but you know uh i don't know i guess when you create a game where you got choices where you can make certain critical choices you know sometimes you got you could easily astray from the main focus of the story and you gotta figure something out like what the heck you gonna write if this person picked this choice or whatnot are we getting bits and pieces of it or are we missing chunks of it depending on the decision we make so the story, I, I don't know, with the choices, sometimes, some games, depends on what you pick. It can have a different outcome, and it could cause people to replay the game to get a different outcome. Not sure this game going to have one. Multiple endings, not sure. But the story is definitely there uh, if you seek it. If you seek it, and you want to sit through the novelty, it's definitely there. But, uh... It could be easily missed in the beginning, leaving your player, you know, just on a wild goose chase. So I'm gonna give the story a seven. I'm gonna give it a solid seven for the story. Yeah. All right, so we got the solid seven for the story. <laughs> Mapping. Mapping. I got to give points to the developer for having custom tile sets. 
Miz will RTP. Uh, it did look weird mixing the two together. Um, the water, the water looked pretty good, but you could definitely tell it was so custom. You know, uh, it didn't really fit in with the RTP tile assets. Uh, the interior decoration of your mapping is your strongest point. Where the exterior of the mapping isn't as strong because majority of the exterior has the custom map. But interior was RTP. We have some custom ones like the chest piece and some of the items and stuff like that. But the interior is your strongest, your strongest, uh, you know, design. The buildings, I mean, the buildings looked okay, but you know, a mixture of custom tiles with RTP buildings, you know, kind of threw away the flow. And especially in the beginning of the area, where you're in a floating you're in a floating land you know it just it just look a little bit beginnerish even though you had custom tiles and stuff like that but you know i can't really talk to be honest because um my mapping skills isn't that good as well but but i'm not the developer so it doesn't really matter my mapping skills you know, it matters only your mapping skills. But the mapping, I mean, the map worked. Some places felt a little rushed. Like like the hide and seek area, you know, that map, that felt a little bit rushed. It seemed like some point you got a strong, you got a strong niche, you know, for mapping. But some points it just got a little sidetracked with the maps. But given the fact that, you know, uh, not everybody is blessed to be a great mapper, but you know, you try to give us a game that has very creative maps, uh, tiles and stuff. Some tiles I've never seen and stuff like that. So that's definitely appreciated. So, you know, I would say, you know, focus more on your outside maps. The inside, you, you definitely got that down pat, but we need some, uh, some better outward visual looking maps given the fact that some of the maps are used for puzzle like running away from the wolf and stuff like that i mean can't really expect that to be perfect but the towns and stuff like that you know some need a little bit more work some not all so i'm gonna give you a seven and a half for mapping seven and a half i'm beyond oh man i be honest, uh, we had fresh tastes of music. You know, I didn't really hear any RTP stuff, whatnot. Um, and also, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's a novelty. Um, it seems like everybody wants us to do this, do that, do this, do that. You know, fetch quest, you know, scratch your back, scratch my back, whatever. Um, after a while you get tired of that you know what i mean like you get tired of expecting see because it seems like every time you go to a new area and you need some assistance you're 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 expecting that you're going to have to help somebody so everybody is needing everybody's help there were some parts where there wasn't no music where i felt like there, there should have been some music they, they keep the player engaged you know what i mean so so that's one important factor in any game that you create. Always have some type of sound going on, whether it's music or background noise. You got to keep your player engaged through the scenes because some of the scenes lack the uh, the life. You know, you had NPCs just standing still, talking to each other, and you know not showing any movement of conversation or life at all it's just two sprites just staring at each other there's no life in the scene 
But I feel like you can definitely create more life to your scene because it's a lot of interacting with other NPCs. So we definitely need need the interaction. So ambiance, I'm gonna give this a. Get this a seven point eight characters in battle. Your characters, your characters. Uh, I feel that the protagonist should have been. You know, the protagonist. Are you know they're 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 like the players' focus point on the story. So your protagonist, I mean, I don't really know what to make of this guy. <laughs> I know you know he care about his best friend. I know that he want to find his best friend, but it seems like the vibe that he's given off. You know, I can't really read him. That's good. That's good because you know it it, it it got me wanting to play the game more and more and more to actually see, you know, the relationship between those two or his true feelings. You know, he speaks as if he's a lover or he's just concerned. I don't know. I don't know. So you got some powerful writing there. You got some powerful writing. All right. So this game doesn't have battles or anything, but the puzzles. Some puzzles were great. Some puzzles were great. The only thing that I really didn't like was the uh, the floor puzzle. I felt like it was a little bit too fast to actually. You know, keep up, and it was mirror, it was reversed. So, I had to like figure it out myself after I looked at the first couple steps where to start. But other than that, your other puzzles, I mean, I, I really like the puzzles. You know, I feel like the puzzles are definitely gonna get harder in the future, and I was not expecting that, uh, the chess puzzle. That was that was pretty unique. The wolf puzzle was okay, you know. That took me multiple tries to uh, to do, but you know, once you learn the path and the icicle that fell, you know, you got time to go around it. But you gotta make sure you're ahead of the wolf by a long shot, or he's gonna get you. Uh, unique puzzles. I really like the puzzles. Um, so I'm going to give you really, really good points on the puzzle because I feel like your ideas is just is going to definitely get a broad, especially with the uh, finding the hidden guardians. You know, you gave us clues where to find them, which were easy to find. You know, I think I found them all, no issues. I just had to like uh, reiterate where they're located, but finding them wasn't. Us, you know, wasn't too hard, but you know the puzzles. You really did great with the puzzles, so I get this uh, an eight. I give it a solid eight. So for experience, I had a good time with the game. I had a good time given the fact it's not what I play on a regular because I played the RPG like RPG maker I actually played the RPGs but I felt like this game is in the uh, the visual novel but without the visuals category I know it's puzzle. This is a puzzle game, but the dialogue is a lot in between the puzzle. But I do know you got to get a story out there, so I'm not gonna dock you for the story. 
But it took It took about Stream time It was an hour and a half stream time Versus 40 minutes Regular time To actually get Involved in the game The wolf The wolf chase actually Pumped my interest in my In my blood up I was getting bored in the beginning Like finding pigs and stuff like that I was getting really bored But You know it revived It revived itself When the wolf was chasing me Then it slowed down again It slowed down again Cause I got to another fetch quest The beetles Hyping me up again I'm like oh let's go Let's go the head, you know, losing your head. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Then it died down again. A lot of dialogue. Fetch quests. Uh, trials. Then it piqued my interest again. The chest. Oh, my gosh. How are we going to do this? You know, you have hot and cold moments. It was a lot of hot and cold moments with this game. But... Um, the the parts where it was exciting, it's meant to be exciting, definitely was. Um, I just felt like, you know, um, it just took too long to get to the exciting part. But when we got there, it did okay. You know, it did okay. I think that's what saved the game. Uh, cause the multiple times, you know, the fail. You're going to fail doing that wolf. I don't care who you are. And I'm pretty sure this is attended to. By the developer. You're going to fail doing that freaking challenge. So. I actually had a great time though. I actually had a good time playing the game. And. I'm going to rate my experience. At uh, 7.3. 7.3 for my experience. Alright. So this gives you a score. A 7.5 7.5 And with the D7 score That's a 3 star game 3 star game <laughs> That's freaking go 3 star game for what it is Not bad for a non RPG game Not bad Not bad The price I don't know how much this game is going to cost. I don't know if it's um, if it's um, commercial or free. So I'm gonna put TBA to be announced. Matter of fact, uh, let's let me check out the it page. Okay, so it's still just a demo for both the game and store are not yet finished. So there's no indication there's no indication that uh, this is a commercial game. I do have a feeling the developers could be lurking, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say it is to be announced. And if this game was a commercial game and it was for sale, and it if it had a price tag, what is the D7 price for this game? Given the fact that you know it's a puzzle game, it had unique puzzles, but it had a lot of dialogue. It had unique maps, but mixed with RTP. You know you can't really hate for what it is. It's the first. It's the first uh, project. Uh, let's just say we're halfway done We're halfway through the story. We got the boat. We about to go to The town where the boy is at, but there's a plot twist always in the game I don't think we got to the plot twist yet until we go to that little hut So I'm going to say maybe this game is five probably 10 hours. Let's say the game's 10 hours. If this was for sale and it had a price tag and I played the demo as it was 
I probably pay one ninety nine for this game. No more than one ninety nine. Is it not a bad game? It is not a bad game. I go. It is not a bad game, guys. And like Harley can say, he gave it a three as well. You know the D seven score. You know it, it. It never lies. It tells the truth. You know, and as a developer, I think you guys should be proud, regardless of whatever score you got. You know, look at the score. I mean, we got we got good score. We got good freaking score. Not everybody would get five stars, but this is the demo. This is just the demo that I'm playing. This does not affect the quality of your full game. This is just my opinion on the demo. Exactly. Not a bad game. So this this doesn't affect the quality of the full game. This is just the demo. And that's it. I played games that had a weak demo, but it got better over time. So a three star doesn't necessarily say your your demo is weak. This is just my opinion on how I enjoy your game, along with a little bit of you know advice. I think that's all I have for today. We stream. This was a three hour game. I think we are in the ballpark because the developer did say on the uh on the Discord that it's approximately three hours. So we we didn't do too bad. We didn't do too bad. Maybe I got the time wrong. But yeah, I believe they said few hours few hours to beat this game so like always guys i got the develop i mean i got the download link in the description if you want to play this game and give the developer your own stream and feedback you know i highly suggest you do so but yeah this is Tell a Hitra by Megal Bari. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my evening. And whoever's streaming, definitely, I would definitely catch the streams. Harlequin is funny. He says, if Origin gonna get six stars, I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna talk to my uh um to my Publicist, I mean my my uh at Cellus, aka Jeff. I got some ideas, but I think this is enough. I don't want to overdo this D7 score. Then um uh, then I'll be doing too much and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. And yeah, DJ, I will be putting the order in soon for the uh, for the book on your Amazon for my niece. I, like I told you, I knew she was, you know, she was going to do, you know, she likes stuff like that. And, you know, I will be ordering maybe a few copies of the book. So definitely uh, keep, keep in mind, I haven't forgot about you. I haven't forgot. I was actually looking at it this morning before I went to uh, work. But yeah, Origin's going to get 9.99 stars out of a 1 million. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, uh, Harlequin is definitely working hard on that game. You know, I mean, like I'm liking what I'm seeing so far with Origins. You know, I like Origins. I like... Uh, I like uh, You know another Izakai Tiki's Escape Was just you know it's a good Game but it was just something To like keep the fans You know having something And he knew that 
especially creating the game in the short amount of time that he did create it you know it wasn't a bad game and i didn't properly rate that game uh i probably if there isn't anything well there is a hidden boss i do gotta fight so i may fight that boss and do a rating on that game but i'm not gonna rate another izakai or origin because those not even thin i think another izakai definitely has enough content to uh actually get a rating but you know just like a lot of games stuff evolve over time games evolve whatever but harlequin is killing it right now freaking a freaking boss you know what i'm saying dude is a freaking boss so gotta give him my flowers i gotta give him his flowers while he's still here and still in the community but yeah uh i guess once again that's it so like i said i appreciate you guys sticking around is there anybody out there to raid that not a lot of RPG maker developers. Like, I don't know what's going on. But we need to tighten it up. RPG Waldorf. He's playing RPG Maker MZ. Uh, he looks English. So I definitely probably will. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. You haven't been streaming like that, so... I don't know what's going on with you. You know what I mean? So I, I can only assume. I can only assume. Shucks. Alright guys. I'm out of here. Peace out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.